Alright guys, um, I'm going to show you how to install um, VNC on your PC so you can um, do a screen sharing from your Mac running Leopard um, to your PC. doesn't matter if it's XP or Vista. Um, I'm running Vista. Um, what you see right now is my PC. Um, I'm running it off the remote. Um, desktop that you're gonna be setting up just so that you can see it. Um, it makes everything easier. So you'll see my dock down there. That's not really a big deal. Just ignore it. Um, the first thing you want to do is open up um, like Firefox or Internet Explorer or whatever you might have. It's kind of slow because it's on the remote desktop and my router isn't exactly the slowest or the fastest thing in the world. There's a way to work around it. Alright, um, you want to go into Google and put in tight VNC. Hit enter. This first one right here is the one you want to click on. Alright, it brings you up to this page. Uh, it's the download page. You just want to click on this right here that says download page. And then it'll bring you to another page. Um, you want to hit the one that is the self installing package for Windows. You'll see it right here. Um, it looks just like this. It's the first one. Um, you want to you click on that one. Uh, I'm using Firefox. So it's going to ask me to save it. Um, depending on what you're using. Um, depends on if it asks you to save, download, however you want to do it. Um, I'm going to replace this because I already have that file on there. Don't worry about that. Alright. Um, so let's open up the installation. Alright. So, the installation, I'm just going to keep, keep hitting next. Um, it's not hard. Um, I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed. Um, you'll get to a page that asks you for if you want like a full installation. Um, by default, it'll already be there. So just keep clicking next, hit install, and just let it go through. Um, it's I don't really need to do that. That's um, very self-explanatory. If you don't know how to do that, you really shouldn't be using a computer. I already have it installed, so I'm just exiting out here alright once you're done with the installation it'll take a minute um, you can get out of Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer, whatever you're using if this hurries up okay um, so you'll go down to uh, start here. Like I said, it's kind of slow to begin with. Okay, go to all programs. Uh, you'll see a folder right here. It says Tight VNC. You want to click on that. Uh, you want to show user settings. Um, you might have seen something like this um, during your installation. I'm not sure if you do with this VNC. I know the other ones sometimes you do. If you did and you messed with this, you might want to uninstall and then reinstall this. Um, but basically what you want to do here, um, you don't really want to do anything actually except for set a password. Um, you're going to need to know this password to connect to your PC. Um, my password is already set, as you can see, so I don't really need to mess with that. Um, 
so like I said, if you if you change anything in here with your installation, if it came up, I don't even know if it did, I don't remember. Um, then you want to uninstall and reinstall Tight VNC just from that same website. Um, and make sure you don't do anything to this. Um, once you set your password, you just want to hit apply. Hit OK. Wait for that to close. All right, so go back to go back to start all programs. Um, that tight VNC folder, you want to open that up. Um, you won't see it in mine um, because I moved it, but there's something in here that will say launch VNC server. Um, mine's actually in my startup folder, right there. Um, if you're wondering, I moved it from the tight VNC folder to the startup folder um, because. I want tight VNC um, to start up whenever I turn on my computer. It just makes life easier. Um, I recommend it just so you don't have to turn it on every time if you're going to use it frequently like I do. Um, so you want to click on that. And then down here, you'll see this V, this V-shaped symbol um, show up. It'll be white. It won't be black like that. Um, it's just black because I'm connected to it right now as we're speaking. Um, but it'll be white. Uh, whenever you put your mouse over it, I'm not going to do it because it'll show you my IP address, which isn't really a good idea. Um, but you'll hover your mouse over it, and a little box you know, down there will come up saying um, VNC server, and then it'll give you a number like 192 dot whatever. Um, you want to write that number down, remember it. Whatever, just don't forget it because you're going to need it. Um, once you have that, um, what you're going to do is I'm going to go back to my, my Mac.